All right, guys, welcome back to the Who just said that? All right, welcome back to Where another- Where is it? Action! All right, enough. <laughs> Hey, it's Dustin Wears Pants here with the Wrenched Out Experiment for our first ever collaboration. We're gonna do some vlog stuff today, I hope. Yep. So today, guys, both of us, we're gonna run around. We've got a couple of things planned and we're gonna vlog it out. So you get two for one. <laughs> so thanks for uh, checking it out. And we'll put this guy's links on the end of the video. So uh, let's get moving. bookstore here in downtown Palmer. Sunny Palmer, Alaska. Yes. Love it. And uh, this was at Dustin Wear Pants. Uh, decision to go to the bookstore. So well, look, I gotta get a uh, I gotta get a book, a children's book for an idea that I've got for a video series that I'm going to be doing. And uh, you'll have to find out about that when it when it launches because I'm not telling anybody yet. It's gonna be super secret. So, so come on over. It won't even be on, on the Dustin Wears Pants channel. So I, you don't even have any idea how to get to it, ever. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show anybody or tell anybody. It's gonna be secret. It's so secret that I'm not even gonna do it. And it won't ever, ever get done. That's the most secret. Hope your mind was just blown on that one. <laughs> <laughs> So we are parking and we got a little walk ahead of us. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the bookstore. You know, you know what this is? This is uh, this is vlogception. And so now you're in a vlog, in a vlog, and you're a vlog in a vlog. Nice to meet you, vlogs. Oh, we are pulled over here, uh, getting ready to go to a bookstore in. Mr. Fox. What is the EFG? You know about that guy. Who's the author? Yeah. Roald Dahl. All right. Who doesn't remember Baldo? We've got the whole collection. Look at this. Classic. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I think this is it. This is all I need. <clears throat> hey guys, so the bookstore went well. Dustin got his books. So here they are. Roald Dahl, James and the Giant Peach, and Roald Dahl, the BFG. If you haven't uh, taken a read of those in a while, give them another, another shot, another look-see. So now we are gonna go run into Wasilla and go kind of mess around and go to, go to a couple of shops, I guess. La Chape, La Chape del Wasilla. Yep. I heard a rumor about Wasilla. Takes a couple minutes to get there from here. It's a pretty good river. It's a good rumor. <laughs> I heard about that one. Read it on the news. We're gonna watch it on you. Put that rumor. We're gonna lay that rumor to rest. It's, it's gonna be gonna a fact. Show you. It's a stone cold fact. Right. We're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> give you a little factoid. Well, 
love it. Take love that it. back home to the family. We'll go return the books, and then you can just tell them that you myth busted something. That's right. I got to. I got to. I'm for, vlogging inside of a vlog now. <laughs> you ever vlog inside of a vlog? You're about to. Again. Double vlog day, folks. This is this is two times the vlog. So, if you are watching this on the Dustin Wears Pants channel, or you are watching this on the Wrenched Out Experience channel, uh, you want a different perspective. You can go to the other one, and you'll get the other half of the story. Because right now you're getting both halves of the story, but on the other one, you'll get the other half. But that's only for right now. Like when I turn off this camera, you'll only be getting that half, and then when he turns off that camera, you'll be getting this half. So, you know, tune into both. Let's check them out. I'm getting a cup of coffee, bro. That's, that's what I'm trying to explain. I know you don't like it, but that's I'm doing it. That's the story? That's the story, and I'm sticking to it, dude. He's going to step outside of the truck while I get coffee. That's how much he hates coffee. I don't hate coffee. I, I, can I get a hot cocoa? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like a hot cocoa. You want uh, some marshmallows? Yep. Well, if they have whipped cream. No, you want marshmallows. If they, <laughs> I mean, don't demand oh. marshmallows. Good, how are you? Can I get a uh, 20 ounce white chocolate stick with mocha? Okay. And then this guy wants a uh, hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't laugh. Uh, could, could I get a medium size hot cocoa? With, 16 ounce hot cocoa? Yeah. With? Whipped cream. Yes, okay, do you want a 20 ounce Snickers white mocha? Yes. Don't. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> oh. Wasn't that, that, that was, it could be got much. I'm not a child. <laughs> but I like hot cocoa. What kind of, what kind of email did you get? All right, so I'm gonna tell a quick story about some fan mail I got during Halloween. They so, said tasteful loops? Yeah, tasteful, uh, tasteful little nugget. I got a email. Uh, on Halloween, because I had put up my new channel video, in which I was proud of the introduction, thought it went well. I did a little bit of uh, social media advertising, and I think I put it on Craigslist at that time also. So I get an email. <clears throat> To the admin at Red Star Experiment, which was fantastic. It was a picture of a kid flipping me off, <laughs> and they told me to go fuck myself. Nice! So, uh, I got, you know, I went through multiple stages of sensitivity, <laughs> which lasted only about two minutes. And then it was like, well, bad PR is good PR in this world, so apparently I caught some little attention. Uh, I took it with a grain of salt. Dang, that's that's good. To go out of your way, God. and not not only that, like if you're a kid. No, he, it was a he stole it. It was a stolen picture. Oh, like oh, off. got you some stock image. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I was gonna say like a kid going out of his way to find your website, your I, admin I, email. I, I know. I was, uh, well, I mean, like, for, for, a, for a for a grown ass man to do that though, to me, I'm like, you know what, dude, you went you went full tilt and you decided to send me a, a picture. You got the picture. You sent it to me. You sent me a message. Granted, it wasn't the message that I wanted to open up, but thank you for sending me that. And if you want to send me more. Feel free. The email is below. Or kisses or tasteful nudes. Oh, <laughs> catch me if you can. Great movie too. Check out Hurt Locker if you guys haven't seen that. Tom Hanks and Catch Me If You Can. Uh, fun fact: Forrest Gump was the only movie that Tom Hanks was any good in because it's the only movie that he didn't have to act in. All right, so uh, <laughs> we'll keep moving. Anyways, we're at Target, kind of looking around. And uh, I think he's looking for a fire extinguisher, so <laughs> let's keep going. Yeah. 
All right, so every time I come to the target, there is specific things we're looking for. So if you have been or seen the videos, you'll see the Magnus Walker cars in my garage. Jesus. <laughs> so here's actually one of them. There's another one. And if you guys don't know who Magnus Walker is, we'll put the link below. What? I don't know where the fire extinguishers could be, but she said it could be this way. Here's the fire extinguishers. Look what we found. All right, so why do you need a fire extinguisher? For when my new album drops. <laughs> but these aren't big enough. <laughs> Uh, no, I need to get some for home. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to be shaking it, man. <laughs> kitchen at home. I'll, right get a, I'll get a kitchen at home and I'll get a standard home. Sounds good to me. I actually do need fire okay. extinguishers. Okay. <laughs> so, we're at Target. We looked at some movies. Now, we are... Uh, He's getting some fire extinguishers, folks. Let's go. <laughs> All right, folks, so we just wrapped up in Target. Um, very exciting stuff. We walked up and down a bunch of aisles together as friends. We vlogged, we vlogged the heck out of Target. So if you missed that, just rewind it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and they made it to this point. Okay. This is, uh, that's what I'm saying. They, they made it this far. Shit, I was cooking dinner. I need, I need to get back to that video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, very important news. We did locate fire extinguishers. I know that uh, everybody was concerned in this video. And I'm pretty sure that you guys probably lit the internet on fire Do because we were looking for it. When my album drops, it's gonna be the heat. You're gonna need to get some fire extinguishers yourselves just to listen to the son of a bitch. It's gonna so. be great. <laughs> I, I, no, I needed, I needed fire extinguishers, of course, uh, for my house, for my home. So in case there's a fire, you, you know what fire is there. You can put the rest together yourself. And it is about being sad. It is isn't about being sad. I mean, like, there's some smoothness in the <laughs> But that, all that my off. friends, the is the yeah, MF CEO project. It sounds like Jonah Hill. It's not Jonah Hill. It sounds like Jonah Hill. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. We did find fire extinguishers, um, and now we're looking for light covers. So at Target, apparently they do not sell uh, socket covers. Yeah. yeah, no outlet covers at Target. It's weird. You'd think they'd have them. So, we were at Target for about five hours. <laughs> uh, three in which we looked for them. Two, two uh, hours we spent complaining to someone that really didn't care. And we still didn't find out like ever. So, good news is we do know where a Lowe's is in the uh, local area. So we we're gonna head to Lowe's to it's, look. It's Lowe's cold. <laughs> to look for an outlet cover, folks. So. Cross your fingers and uh, let's hope we can find one. Because this man needs an outlet cover. You gotta get it. Kids will get electrocuted if I don't have it. So we're saving lives and getting outlet covers. We'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so Lowe's was a success. We did find the outlet cover. Bam! Right there. So we are gonna continue on with our journey. And uh I think we're probably gonna get close to wrapping this bad boy up, but we'll see you guys here shortly. Light the beacon! All right guys, so thanks for checking out another vlog. So this time we had a little bit of a collaboration. We drove around. I know it was super exciting for you guys. <laughs> but as always, thanks for checking it out. 
Uh, we had our guest, Dustin Wears Pants. We're gonna put the link to his channel below, so make sure and check out his content. And uh, we'll be doing another vlog next week. And remember, if uh, you wanna see a vlog within a vlog, you check out my video. And then if you wanna see a vlog within a vlog, you check out his video. You check them both out, and it's like vlogception. It's an alternate reality, a paradise inside your mind that you get to experience, not only once, but as many times as you wanna hit that play button. <laughs> All right, so see you next week, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.